07 Citizens. The ship review of the Anvil Carrick. Capital exploration ships, 126 meter longs. A multi crew vessel. You cannot use any weapons from the pilot seat, so to be able to defend yourself, you need to bring a crew. It has space for a small ship like a C8R, a Razor, or the M50, and you can put in the um, garage at least an Ursa and maybe a small glider as well. Perfect ship for the upcoming Pyra systems to go out exploration. Inside you have the garage at the front, the big front door that is opening, and an Ursa fits very good into it. And when we see drive, you have the three levels. First level is fit here with an elevator where it goes to the top deck and the, hab the habitation and the technical deck. These are the three cargo areas you have. There is to assume in future this, those are going to be either modular or in some way physicalized. Um, the request of this happening is already out there and we do not know how it goes yet. In these two sides you have weapon lockers. You can store 16 weapons here um, in each set. Well, up to 32 weapons, um, multi-tools, handguns and many things. Here's the rear turret um, you want to go for and at the present moment I'm a little bit careful with opening the doors because there is a bug actually occurring that um, you can get stuck in a door. So this is already fixed. So the, uh, the issue council was out there. It's already fixed. In the future update, it will be okay again. We go up one story. We come to the habitation deck. We are walking from the rear of the ship um, forward now towards the bridge. Um, here is the medical bay, which is actually a tier two medical bed yeah don't press this use button if this is at the, at the door um, because what the what the, sh what the ship will do it will put you on a console like an engineer console yeah remember it is an alpha things um, need to get fixed sometimes things stuff gets broken suddenly nobody really knows why so don't worry about it write an issue or vote upvote the issues that are actually already there and help support that it's actually getting fixed so this is a pretty bit medical area this is as well a spawn point so if you die you can respawn here so Carrick has many awesome upsides onto it Alright, elevator down or up. Here we have the mess hall, crew quarters, conversation room, talking about your projects. Of course, a little pool table to have fun on. Not ready utilized yet. And here are captain's quarters. And we head straight forward onto the bridge. Three chairs, center one is the pilot's chair, co pilot's chair. And here with the little elevator we can go up to the upper deck of the bridge where is another steering console right in the front the two remote turrets that be able to be used here and in the front another pilot seat where actually can stand on it's quite a nice as well quite a nice view on how to go on with so two options how to fly this ship so this is as well back here the technical deck and you see the size of the ship is 128 meters or it is long. Here is the hangar where you can put a C8R in it or a Mirai Razor fits as well or the M50 interceptor from origin. There is a couple of possibilities what you can put in there. Try out what else you could fly with. Yeah, just look, it's it's so nicely done how it's it's 
sort of all inside of here. It's uh, I really like it. Okay, so you have the doors here. You can get out. Remember, don't press use. <laughs> And here is the beautiful little C8 R here, ready for your little missions, rescuing your friend down out from a cave or what other situation that could come up. This is the elevator in the st at the stern of the ship, so you can pass through all decks with this one, which is very convenient. So you need to, uh, to go through the ship to go up and down. Um, and here we have the card photography station and you see the size of it so we're gonna store and save a lot of data in that for now we just can stand on it that's about it but as data running cartography will be a thing so exploration will actually be a thing here in Star Citizen I'm very much looking forward for that and yeah, you need a scanner of course there are other ships who have a scanner too but this is definitely one of the full-scale scanners um, you want to have and you can use it you will find the poise on a planet by using this scanner this is the anvil carrick currently one of the ships i'm heavily trying and explore and see whether it's a fit for me i really liked it i did a lot of different stuff with it we did multi-crew operation on the <laughs> celebrating the comeback of the repel rates in Crusader um, with our SSLF org we had a lot of fun and it was just useful um, Malcolm brought as well a, um, a Valkyrie so we had like this, these two ships doing their jobs onto these places and it's, it was amazing it was amazing to have this large ship with us with all the stuff we put in there the sustenance we have a big weapon weapon racks as I said to have space for 32 weapons plus at massive amount of uh, multi-tools and uh, life cure life tools and so on so it's really great you have to ground vehicles you have this middle Pisces you can fly around so I am very happy with the ship and consider it really worthwhile the 26 million AWEC you're going to pay for in-game or as a pledge price it's 600 bucks um, and again if you buy something remember don't invest money that you don't have um, remember it's an investment you are part of a crowdfunding here with um, star citizens so be aware of what you're paying and how much you want to actually put in here everything's always up to change this beautiful ship i can recommend if you like to fly large ships if you like to have everything with you if you are looking forward to do exploration with your friends with your org and playing this game as it's meant to be as an MMO as a multi-crew um, and um, um, a multiplayer game um, having fun and enjoying this beauty that is created here um, for us to explore and look into so that's so much from my side to the Anvil Carrick and I say 07 citizens and I see you out in the words.